Hi, my name is Caitlin Elaine. I'm a figurative painter and I'll be talking to you about why I do what I do. I use oil paint to document how the brain takes in what the eye sees and how the mind alters my understanding of experiences over time. I often find that the most powerful or vivid moments of my life eventually get distilled down into an image that's at the forefront of my mind, and that's when I know it's time to paint it. <laughs> the wonderful thing about painting is the freedom to experiment with how to articulate the different ways you see and perceive. There's the speed of the here and now, there's that movement and gesture and time passing quickly, and then there's also the quiet stillness and contemplation of something that's happened deep in the past. And there's always this dichotomy in representing the past and the present, and I like trying to unite something that's born out of all this excess noise um, and something that's highly filtered, like a very silent and emotive memory. I love thinking about how time eventually removes all the unimportant memories until all that's left is a heightened, romanticized version of our perceptions. It's a strange thing to call that reality, but I do think that what is left is a highly personal truth. Painting the ephemeral aspects of the human experience is like trying to put your finger on something ultimately indescribable, and it's such an abstract challenge with no particular answer. Portraiture allows me to utilize the power of a face to recreate and empathize with something in the past, or to somehow be sentimental with the future. My characters exist in and are sometimes trapped in an isolated and heightened ephemeral world. For me, the challenge is depicting a world that is accurate to the way it was retained by my mind. I absolutely love realism and have an element of realism in my work, but I do struggle with knowing how to document reality. Sometimes what is most relevant at a certain time is, or a moment, is not at all what's in front of me. Maybe it was the movement and whir of the subway on my way in, into my studio, or it was the bizarre dream I had last night that's affecting my whole day. And how do I describe that tainted moment? And these are the kind of things that I'm interested in pursuing in my work. You know, my personal goal is to paint the strangeness of the imprints that experience leaves on my mind and to discover something new in the process.